Hey everyone, I want to talk to you about how to make gradients in Inkscape today. Uh, I know I got some requests to do this on my last tutorial video, and that was like two months ago. So you probably don't even care anymore, but someone else might. I figured I might as well do it. Besides, when I do these tutorials, you know, I'm, I, I actually learn a lot too just from doing it, you know, because I, I don't want to <laughs> look like an idiot when I show you how to do it. So I learn, I'm learning more efficient ways how to do everything just by just by making these tutorials um, so yeah um, I got a lot more free time now though so I'm hoping over this Easter weekend to get at least a couple more videos up and within the next month or so uh, get a whole series of just everything you need to know about making ponies in Inkscape and just other stuff as well uh, but for now we'll do gradients gradients are fairly simple in Inkscape um, you just gotta know your tools. Uh, so we use the create and edit gradients tool. It's here's control F1 is your hotkey for that. And I we select our object and we can play with the gradient. Well, we can't right now because there is no gradient on it. It's just a solid color. Uh, but we can drag, drag and click here, and and we'll it'll create a gradient. Um, it'll just create a fairly useless placeholder gradient that uh, just uses the color it was before, in this case black, um, going from maximum to minimum opacity. Another thing you can do is you can actually uh, select a different gradient that, you use, that you've used before because it will store all your gradients. Um, you'll see there's, there's a lot here because uh, I, have, I have some bad, bad habits that ended up creating uh, multiple gradients or multiple copies of a uh, gradient and I'll get more into that later uh, but then uh, now you just need to define your gradient so you select uh, your one endpoint uh, drop her in select the other endpoint drop her in the other extreme and there you go you've got a gradient not too happy with this one here in case you can get it darker okay that's right um, yeah some other stuff you can do if you uh, cl double click uh, on the line you can create a midpoint which will just give you more control over your gradient uh, you can also manually play with your gradients so if you no nope. um if you go up to edit you'll get your gradient editor uh where you can manually assign colors and uh if if you don't like the dropper or can't drop her directly in for whatever reason uh uh what I used to do um and what is a really easy way to to create your gradient is you just uh for each of your stops just copy in uh, the uh, hexadecimal RGBA value here and uh, that's also another easy way to create a gradient uh, if if using the gradient editor if you just hit add stop it'll just create a, a midpoint like a stop in the center of your gradient uh, I guess if you want to be more uniform and just haphazardly clicking somewhere on the line uh, you can also move your gradient around with the node tool uh, but you can run into problems with this because the other the other nodes of your object will will cause issues I'll, one of the f a frequent problem that I come across is the uh, the circle end of your gradient will actually overlap here and you'll try to grab it and you'll just create you know a hole in your object which isn't what you want. If you do use the node tool for that, uh, hold down Alt while you click it, and uh, you will grab the proper proper node. Um, and this is actually the reason why you see I have so many, so many of the same gradient there, because if you uh, move move around the 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 uh, midpoint with your node tool. 
or try to try to edit the gradient with your node tool it'll actually create a new gradient instead of editing the current one so that's just something to uh, look out for if you as long as you use the gradient editor you shouldn't run into any problems uh, that's basically all you need to know for uh, for ponies at least you, you just use this in their eyes a simple gradient you're gonna put some fancy effects on it though like you can add a repeat alright which will reflect your I guess gradient it'll kinda oscillate between the two or between all your endpoints or all your nodes all your stops they're called there we go using the right terminology now um, your radial gradient where uh, look have one end will be on the outer edge and the other will be in the center and you can actually you can move that off center if you want um, so you know that's that's just other fancy stuff you can do with it um, you don't need it if all your if all you're doing is ponies just keep it just keep a basic linear uh, gradient is all you need so that's about all there is uh, for gradients in Inkscape. Um, like I said, I'll try to get up some more videos soon. If there's anything specific you want me to cover in those, let me know. And uh, hopefully it won't take two months this time. I'll see you later.